boys and girls and welcome back to another weekly video it's jd here and i was so excited to see you guys all right so today our question and our bottom line is different because we are in the completely different new month we are in the month of november and in november we celebrate thanksgiving and i'm so excited about thanksgiving because this is a time where we sit down and we think about all the things that we are thankful for now, usually when someone does something for you, what do you usually say? You say, thank you, right? All right, so our key question is, who can you thank for everything? And then the answer to that is, I can thank God for everything. All right, so who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. Awesome job, guys. All right, so today I am going to teach you how to say thank you in three different languages, okay? All right, so first, obviously, in English, we say thank you, all right? So we're going to say thank you in Spanish. Do you know how to say thank you in Spanish? I'm going to teach you. All right, here we go. Ready? Thank you in Spanish, which is a different language, is gracias. Can you say it? Gracias. Good job, gracias. And that is how you say thank you in Spanish. All right, guys. So now I'm going to teach you how to say thank you in Italian. All right. And so how to say thank you in Italian is grazie. Can you say it with me? Grazie. Good job, guys. Grazie. That's how you say thank you in Italian. Good job, guys. All right, and so we're gonna do one more, okay? So let's see how to say thank you in German, okay? So how do we say thank you in German? Danke. All right, that one's a little bit different, but we say danke. That's how you say thank you in German. All right, guys. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Don't forget to tell people thank you when they do things for you, all right? And just tell, tell your parents thank you, tell your grandparents thank you, tell your friends thank you. Let's remember to be thankful, okay? And tell people how much we are happy about. Let's not forget to tell people how thankful we are by saying thank you. All right, guys, I'm so glad you are here with me learning how to say thank you in more languages. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
Hi friends, I'm Kai, and my family and I have been working in a super fun community garden down the street. We get to go every weekend to help in the garden. This time we're picking the yummy food from the garden. My dad's favorite is carrots. My cousin loves watermelon. My uncle helps in the garden sometimes too, and his favorite thing to eat is corn on the cob. I love working in the garden with my family. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Kai. Who? Who? Growing fresh food to eat, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. My family and I have been helping in the community garden. It's so fun. Working with your family is great. It's true. I know another family who helped each other, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. That was so good, Stormy Jane. Oh, you want a treat too? <laughs> okay, here you go. <laughs> oh, hi friends, I'm Carrie and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. My uncle just gave me a yummy carrot from his garden. It was so good. It was such a special treat. We love treats, don't we, Stormy Jane? <laughs> my uncle loves to take care of us with things from his garden. I'm so thankful for my family, in fact, that reminds me of a story. This is Naomi. Does she look happy or sad to you? Sad, that's right. Naomi was sad because she didn't have any family. Her husband and sons had died and she was all alone. So she decided to go back to the town where she grew up. But look, it's Ruth. Ruth was married to Naomi's son. Ruth said, I'll go with you, Naomi. I'll be your family. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. God gave Naomi family to help her. Thank you, God. Can you say that with me? Thank you, God. So Naomi and Ruth walked together all the way to town where Naomi used to live. When they got there, Naomi and Ruth were hungry, but they didn't have any money to buy food. So Ruth went to see if she could find something for them to eat. Well, not far from where they lived, a man named Boaz had people working in his fields, gathering all the grain. The fields were like big gardens, and the workers worked very fast. But as they went, they would leave grain on the ground behind them. Ruth saw this and began to pick up the grain from the ground to take it home to Naomi for food. Boaz saw her collecting food. When he found out that she was family, Boaz wanted to help her and make sure she had lots of good food to pick from his garden. Wow, God sent family to help Ruth and Naomi. Thank you, God. Say it with me. Thank you, God. When Ruth went home to Naomi with good food to eat, Naomi was so surprised and so thankful. What do you think Naomi said? That's right. She said, thank you, God. Ruth and Naomi said thank you for the family God gave them to help them. All families look different and all families can take care of each other. Thank you, God, for giving us our families. Oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Ruth and Naomi were thankful for their family, and we can thank God for our families too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. Ruth and Naomi were thankful for the family God gave them, and we can be thankful for our families too. 
I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm super thankful for my family and can't wait to pick food from the garden for today's snack. I'll see you next time. Bye! Thanks to the Lord with my whole heart, Psalm 111. One. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart, Psalm 111. One.